most certainly is a very <laughs> jazzy opening. Well, you've been hearing us talk about it all day. We are kicking off Women in Business Week this week today, and that means we're going to be sitting down with local women from our community to talk about their journey to success. And for our first interview, we met Dr. Amy Burke and heard about her interesting story to becoming a physician. For today's Women in Business, we are meeting the South Towns doctor who is bringing old school family medicine back to Western New York. We have Dr. Amy Burke here from the Hi. Sunrise Medical Group. And you really have an interesting story of how you became to yeah. be a Dr. Amy Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, very, very interesting. Kind of a long process. Tell us a little bit about that process for you. Um, well, I ended up after college, um, well, after high school, I went um, to Lemoyne College, and kind of in the midst of that, I had twin daughters. Their names are Brittany and Brandy. And so I took a little bit of a break, um, but then went back to college. They, I graduated when I was three, and at the time, I really, I wanted to be a doctor, but I had young twins, I was a single mom. So I decided, well, I'm going to go into nursing because that's kind of the same. Mm -hmm. And I loved being a nurse. Um, but I always felt like I could do just a little bit more. Um, so what I ended up doing is I applied to um, medical school. And while you were a nurse and while you had young yeah, twin yeah. daughters. Yeah, so I got my degree from Syracuse University for my, because I had, so I had a bachelor's in nursing as well. So, um, well, the girls about 10, and one of them found my high school yearbook. And I, I remember the story. They remember too, because I say it all the time. But one of them looked at the yearbook and said, Mom, are you not a doctor because of us? No. And because that's what was in my high school yearbook. And I, I immediately, I was like, I can't make these girls. I can't let them think that that's why they why I didn't become a doctor. So I ended up applying, and lo and behold, I At got that it. point, you had to prove it to them, right? <laughs> yeah. So I got in. I was like, and sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for, because it was really difficult. I spent mm -hmm. my 30s in med school and residency. And raising your daughters at And the raising time. my daughters. And I swear the white hair is from them. <laughs> yeah. That's I don't a much see, harder job. That was a much and harder I job. Say, I think that's why we're heading off, because I'm also a, not, doc, not medical school, but a Syracuse alum here. So. Oh, really? <laughs> Go yeah, orange. Good school. Really good school. So after. After you went to med school at Syracuse, yeah. uh, you came back here? Yeah, I did. I um, had worked a little bit in Syracuse, and there were some opportunities here, and I also wanted to do my MBA. So I came here, started my MBA at University of Buffalo, which, <laughs> by the way, is like... school wasn't enough, then you went back to school for even more. You know what? It's true. Some people ask me, why did you do that? And of course, you know, kind of glibly, I'll say, well, the girls were in college, I was kind of bored. <laughs> they don't like to hear that, trust me. <laughs> that so, yeah. So during my, um, my couple years in uh, the MBA program is when I decided, like, I got, got a business sense, and I said, you know what? Like I could bring this into, you know, doing my own my own thing. So, so naturally, here I am. now you have your own business as well. I do, I and do. again, this is Women in Business Week. So, tell us about Sunrise Medical Group. Well, it's a right now. I'm the only one there. Um, um, but I wanted to start something that, as you said, old time medicine. I, I'm finding there's a lot of changes in medicine that um, where patients just feel like they're a number. People don't know their name. They see different doctors. And so I wanted to start something that was kind of old school. And family medicine, I see every age group um, from infants mm -hmm. all the way up to senior citizens. I do women's health too, which is what family med docs do. Um, and I also admit my patients to the hospital myself. So I see them in the hospital. So it's really nice it's a really good continuity of care so and I like it you know uh, I'm really happy and I, I think my patients are really happy too they like that you know because we are talking about women in business in Western New York what does it mean for you to say I'm a woman and I started my own business right here in, in our community you know it, it's interesting because I look around I am surprised there's only a couple women in the whole of Catholic Health that I know have started their own business so I was actually surprised to hear about that um, but it shouldn't be any different than a man, but it is, you know, sometimes people make, wow, I can't believe a woman started her own business. And so it's, you know, what it means for me is just maybe promoting other women and making them feel like they can do it too. And, Absolutely. You know, and there's hope, you know, you, you might want to write off that young woman who's pregnant, who, you know, and think that she can't do anything, but maybe live on welfare. And that's so not true. So I really want to be an, maybe, you know, an, a mentor to young single mothers that, you know, give them opportunities to know you can do it if you can. Absolutely. You know? Talk about being a mentor and your twin daughters are also grown up and one of them works right with you. Is yeah, one mentor? works with me. She's, um, she's getting a business management degree. So I think it's a great experience for her to deal with my business people. My other daughter just started at University of Buffalo. She's doing the exercise science program, hopefully getting into physical therapy. They both already have degrees, though, from Lemoyne. They graduated from my alma mater, so I'm really proud of them. Very, very proud. Yeah. Lots to be proud about here on the couch. Thank you so much, Dr. Amy. Yeah, Bird thank you so much. It was Medical great being here. Group. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good.